Hello and welcome to the 200th anniversary of the Royal Highland Show. Um, it's a special bicentenary show this year here at Ingleston and it's great to be back at the show field after three years away um, with Covid. So it's been a busy day here in the show field, lots going on down the stock lines. We've had the young handlers in both the on, on the dairy, beef and sheep sections and uh, now we're here at the side of the main ring watching the heavy horse turnout teams of six. So I'm just uh, going to tur turn to Elliot and... Um, Inet here, who's going to give us a bit of an a bit of an introduction as to what's going on in the ring. I mean, I think we've all seen Clydesdale horses before, but not really knowing what's going on in the ring. So I'm going to pass on. Uh, they can give us a, give us a bit of an explanation. Well, this is the six horse team class, which is the the biggest uh, team that we do here. It's the only show in the whole country that that has a dedicated six horse team class. Um, they're all three of them Clydesdale uh, hitches here, but uh, it. Does uh, there are others um, can can exhibit as well, but they're all Clydesdales here. Um. So they're actually they're doing their individual show. So it's Galcantry Clydesdales coming out now, and they're all the way from Nairn, and it's a team of young horses have got in here, and this is the first time they've ever brought a six out. So it's a big a big day for them. So I suppose if you've never been up close to the Clydesdale turnout, it's quite an atmosphere when they're coming past you. Obviously down in the cattle lines where um, some of us are more used to being, when they're coming trotting up the avenue towards the main ring, there's quite an atmosphere, a bit of noise, you know, it really, get, it really gets the crowd going. You know, how important is it to have teams of six here? How, how great is that for the, for the breed? Oh, I think it's very important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. It's, it's, it really is. It makes the show. Yeah. So out there today, what what will the judge be looking for? What will be the main the main things that, that they'll be looking for out there today? First of all, for them to go really well as a six, as a as a team, and uh, and they they have to be pretty well matched and turned out well. Um, the, the, just, judge, just going, the judge will be well. checking the the harness to see that it's it's fitted uh, correctly. They'll be checking that everything is clean and safe. Um, they should have a, a bucket for water in under it, the dray as well, and and six nose bags for for feeding, for when they stop. Um, there's a lot that goes into it with the horses, the harness, the dray. Um, but uh, no, that it's it's the it's the the whole picture that they're they're judging. So I mean, you know, the same with any stock that comes to the show. You know, there'll be, there'll be a lot of preparation goes in at home beforehand. You know, for for example, a team of six that that's coming to the show. How how long will it take to get them ready in the, in the carriage as well? Oh well, before the show, well, I was actually meant to be bringing a team of six to the show, and two of my horses have gone lame. But we started away back in February, getting them trained to come here. So it takes a long time, but. For this morning, it, it would take them four or five hours to get ready to come into the ring. So, so you know, quite a lot for a Sunday morning if you've had a big night before. Yes. So, <laughs> so, you know, in, in terms of what they're doing just now, you're talking about being out doing the individual, so they're just inspecting each individual horse or is it no, a, a, as doing, a group? No, this time they're out doing their individual show, so they're not, in, it's just to, for them to go as a team. So, the way they drive and uh, go nice and straight and just have a good drive. In terms of the harnessing, you know, it's, it's quite impressive, and well, you can hear it. You can hear it jangling when we're st when we're standing here. But, you know, what what is the you know how do you go about putting all that on a horse? You know, if you're if you're quite small, how how do how do you get around all that? <laughs> well, you do sometimes need a, a step or two to get up uh, to the to the horse's head to um, to put all the harness on. Um, they're usually very well uh, well behaved though, and and. For getting it on, they don't jump about or anything. But so you know, does it matter about the order of the horses in the carriage? You know, um, yeah. you know, is, is there a specific way of working out yeah. what horse needs to be where? Or? Yeah, we call the the ones near the driver. They're the wheelers, so they've got to be with the big horses because they do all the pulling. And then the, the swing horses are the middle horses, so they've got they're a little bit smaller. And then the the lead horses are a wee, usually a wee bit smaller, so they are. So I mean, they're just there if there need be, if you've got a big load and you're going up a hill, the, the leaders. So I mean, in terms of the three carriages we've got out before us today, I mean, the one that's sitting parked closest to us just now, 
Um, obviously we can see it's from the Isle of Butte but the other two, where, where have they came from to come to the show? The other two, the one at right driving at the moment, they're from Nairn and the other team are from Northern Ireland so they've come all the way, they've come a long way so, You know, quite a distance to come yeah. to the show and, yeah. and compete yeah. it's, a distance, it's a distance come with anything but six horses uh, everything they need to the keep them for the week, the dray, know, all the harness yeah. the people a, a, lot of, a lot of work involved in getting it all ready well, I think we'll just take a minute and, and kind of observe what's going on in the ring and, and the spectacle of it. So I mean, standing here on the platform next to the main ring, we can we can hear as the carriages are going past, um, but going past the grandstand, we can hear the the audience applauding them. You know, really, um, you know, respecting and appreciating the amount of work that goes into, um, you know, putting a display like this on. Um, you know, it, it, it's really you know, the amount of work that goes into it is a, a tremendous a tremendous uh, asset to the teams involved. So obviously for our guests that are here with us, Elliot and Annette, um, you know, what what have you been competing in this week? Um, you know, how many horses have you got here yourselves? Uh, I've got four here myself. So first of all, we did the in hand on Thursday morning, and then we did the ridden on uh, Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Sorry about that. And uh, our daughter actually qualified for the Horse of the Year show, which was really good on Thursday afternoon. And then I took a four four horse hit team out on, on Friday and a unicorn, which three horses. And then we had Pierce out yesterday and Elliot and I both drove Lady Scarch yesterday. So we've had a big show, haven't we? Oh, yep. definitely. Yeah. So obviously, uh, you know, for yourselves, a lot of work going into coming to the show and doing that as well. I take yeah. it it's not your first time at the show. I take it you've shown in, in the past. Shown here for years, years and years. And, years. and you know, how much have you missed the show in the last, you know, obviously three years since we've had a show? You know, it's been, you know, there's a lot of people that I've personally have seen here this week that I've not seen since the last time the Highland show was on. It, it's a great occasion to be back here. You know, how is impo how important is it for you to be back here with your horses? And you know, have you enjoyed the week? Oh. It's been a great it's week, a huge, isn't it? Huge great huge week. And back. just getting caught up with loads of friends and, you know. Some that I haven't seen since the last Highland show. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, it's been really just, good. Just, uh, it's been really big, good. It's just nice getting horse. back to normal, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's just really nice. Yeah, it feels like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. normal. So as we watch on over the main ring just now, you can see the third uh, turnout coming past the grandstand. Um, these are the the turnout from the Isle of Butte.
So as we as we watch over here, we can see that you know some of the carriages have more grooms than others. Um, you know how how is that determined, Annette? Or you know is is it just personal preference, or is there a way of working out what you need? It's just personal preference. You know some of them want three grooms so that you've got three up each side for the horses. It's just totally it's totally up to you. Isn't it? it just, yeah. yeah. Jock McMillan, who's driving this, is quite a young team of horses. There's three of them are just three year olds, and it's their first first time out in the in the six horse team. Uh, so, quite unpredictable horses, then. Uh, they, they can be. They, they, you, you try not to be, make them that way, but, uh, but just to, to have someone there to, to hold them is always mm. the best way. Because they're pretty young, when they're just three, it's their first out and you know the first show season, so. You just have to watch. And the horses have missed it just as much as, as we have, so they're, mm-hmm. they're a bit out of the loop. There's well. a lot of younger, <coughs> a lot of younger horses. <coughs> excuse me. The same down in the cattle shed as well. A lot of younger stock that you know, if the show had been on in the past couple of years, would have been here and experienced this before now. But That's right. Obviously, That's you know, right. this, this yes. is the first time for them That's as right. well. Yeah, yeah. Even like showing them in hand, you know, when they're young, it gets them out to shows That's and quiets them down, down a bit. Whereas a lot of these have probably never been to a show in their life. In fact, I think there's three homebred ones in this hitch, isn't there? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, as we look around the ring, there's a, you know, there's a, a great audience assembled around the ring. You know, we're um, seeing the way that they react to the horses going past, and and you know, it's really a testament to the amount of work that goes into getting these carriages and these turnouts ready. Um, you know, and, and putting on a, a great display like this today. So in terms of, you know, we're quite quite early on in the summer show season, so is there any other uh, shows that you'll personally be showing at this year? Or? Yep, yep. We head off down to Harrogate to the Great Yorkshire Show in two weeks' time, and then we're going to go to Driffield and New Forest, and then local shows in between. Yeah. Quite quite a busy summer ahead then. Yes, summer ahead. So. yes, yes. Well, best best of luck at all those shows Thank you very much. so I mean if you were the judge out here today I mean would there be a particular team that you'd be backing no we got on with them all no, so no, no we're no, not I'm not, one to, I'm not one to say anything uh, I'm sure the judge, uh, sure the judge so who, who is the judge out here today where, where are they from and, and you know would they normally show here themselves or no he's, he's from England from uh, Cam- Cambridge uh, it's uh, Owen Garner is his name. He's uh, he has a, a team of uh, Persian horses which originate from France, another breed of heavy horses. Um, but uh, no, he doesn't tend to to show as far up north as here. But, uh, but he's uh, got a lot of experience with the with this uh, in this line. So just give us a, a little kind of insight into what's going on in the ring now. I mean, they've all been they've all been individually driven around the ring. So you know what what what's happening at, at this point? He's he's actually asked them all to back up at the moment, and uh, just to make sure they can go back and then go forward again. So he's just checking them to do that, and he'll be checking just the harness and everything as well, just to make sure it's nice and clean. And you know, in, in terms of you know such a such a huge audience around the side of the ring, you know there's quite a bit of noise um, around. Does that you know does that tend to spook the horses, or are they are they quite used to that now? Or uh, it doesn't. It just it tends to make them they they quite enjoy the noise, don't they? Yeah. They just yeah yeah yeah. Once they once they're in the ring, they've got a job to do to, to pull the you know along with their. So the their, their minds on concentrating on the job. Yes, <laughs> so. yes, it should be. <laughs> should be. <laughs> It should be. So are, are these the, the last turnouts of the week? 
Yes, yes, yep. And now and then after this, it's the final. So everybody that's won a class comes in, and then there's got to be an overall champion. So there is. So we'll have the. Well, we'll not have the single in because the single horse. It was the the Irish people won the, the singles, so their horse is in that hitch. So it'll not be in. It's in the, in the lead of their of their six. So, but uh, the, the the winner of the four horse team, the winner of the unicorn, and the pairs are coming in. Um, and they'll go up against and the, the winner of this, and the winner of the two wheeled car. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be quite a spectacle to see all yes, those, you know, really all in at the one nice. time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They're very young, the lead horses. Then you come to some swing horses, which are the middle ones, and they do the steering. Uh, they're quite experienced, they could be in their teens. And you get the big wheelers at the back for the power and the braking system. Decision time. He's only 20 years old. Only 20 years yeah, old, and he's he's yeah, driving yeah, the, the he's, team of six. Yeah, he's driving the team of six. Yeah. Just for the yep. first time. At this first show. time. First yep. time he's taking this six out. Yep. I think we can all agree he's doing fairly well for 20 years yes, old. Yeah, and that's him just won it, so he'll be really chuffed. Yeah. cheer when they get pulled out. So they're all at the, they're all at the side, a bit like yes. a manager at a football match, exactly. they're just sitting yeah. waiting yeah. to see what they're happens. There. And they're there too, if anything actually happens, they're there ready to run out and help. And mm. said earlier, these lead horses coming out right now, they're just... So young, is the, the turnout from the Isle of Butte, is that the second prize in this yes. class? Yeah, yep. they're the second the prize, yep. yep. Colleagues in the swing position and the wheelers. So it's huge congratulations to all these three teams that are out here this afternoon in the sixes. They've shown them at their best and will continue. At this point, I'd like to just talk about the Peter Sterling family. They're in the ring there. They have major sponsors of the heavy horse turnouts for many, many years. And Andrew. Sister Julie and David are coming forward to present the ribbons to Victor Thompson's team. Victor standing at the back with the wheelers and young Ben McLaughlin is the driver. That's Andrew presenting the ticket and Julie with the ribbons. Peter Sterling family, very old family business, started in 1870 with their great grandfather and there's the fourth generation of two boys and sister who keep it going at the Moss End Rail Freight in, near Glasgow. And they have huge aspirations and vision for the future of their rail freight to take rail freight right across Europe and further. And we wish them every yeah. success and we thank them for the generous sponsorship they continue in the years of heavy horse turnouts. Of course, the father, Billy Selling, he drove in this ring and was an extremely competent, experienced driver and a huge salver was presented earlier in the week in memory of their father, Billy, and was presented to the teams of four. Then our judge, Owen Garner, having a quick word with all the drivers to say support and thank you it turned out in front of him. He's had a busy week, Owen, having started judging the, the farm carts and singles on Thursday night. Followed by the teams of four and the pairs yesterday and the ladies, the ladies open cart. So that concludes our we coverage of, of the heavy horse turnout team of six class uh, here in the main ring at Ingleston.
Um, I'd just like to thank Elliot and Annette for joining us today and giving us an insight for someone who's personally used to working with cattle. Um, I'd personally have been lost trying to explain what was going on in the main ring. But, uh, you know, um, Elliot and Annette will be joining us again at 2 o'clock on the Facebook live stream for the Heavy Horse Turnout Championships, where the winners of all the classes will come in to compete for the overall champion. My name's John McCulloch from the Young Farmers. I've been presenting the Heavy Horse Turnout teams of six. Thank you very much for joining us and please join us again later. Thank you.